Good afternoon. On behalf of the Board of Education and the staff of Faribault Public Schools, I would like to welcome the class of 1996, parents, family, and friends to this year's commencement ceremonies. I have the privilege today of introducing the three students who will speak on behalf of the class of 1996. Those students will be Jacob Kern, Tim Meehan, and Amanda Dell. Before proceeding, let me honor this year's class. During the time I've shared with you, I've been impressed with your commitment to learning, to each other, to your family, and to the community. I know today will be sweet and bitter. You will not only experience the joy of graduating, but the realization that an important chapter in your life is coming to a close. If I could say only one thing to you, and what I would not say to my own children, it would, it would be that there's only one of you. There is no one else in the world like you. There are no duplicates. The specialness of each of you is important not only to yourself, but to all of us. Take care of yourself, be respectful, be resourceful, and be responsible. I would like to also honor the parents of the graduates. Having three children of my own, I know the joys, the trials, the tribulations you've all experienced. I know the love and care and support you have given to help all of your sons and daughters to this point in their life. I would like to ask all the parents who are here today to please stand, and I would like to ask the class of 1996 and the guests to help me honor the parents. Would you please stand? Thank you. Our first speaker today is Jacob Kern, salutatorian of this year's class. In addition to maintaining a 3.984 grade point average on a four point scale, Jake has been involved in baseball, football, basketball, as well as chairperson for the Frosty Frolics. He has received numerous honors, including all conference honorable mention in football and baseball, named all conference Big Nine scholar athlete and the recipient of the Apollo Award. Jake plans to attend Augsburg College and major in engineering. I present to you Mr. Jacob Kern. I first want to congratulate my fellow graduates on a job well done. Today we graduate as a single body, and tomorrow we go our separate ways. For many of us it is off to college, and for others it's off to work. Either way, the education we received over the past 12 years has given us the tools we need to succeed. I feel one of the most important of these tools is that of perseverance. We all began at the age of about six with the same age of graduation. Today we attain what we are after. Today we celebrate the culmination of 12 years of hard work and dedication. It hasn't been easy and it hasn't all been fun and games. We faced many difficulties along the way. For example, we've had to make transition after transition. We've had to make a transition from elementary school to junior high, from junior high to senior high, and now we must make a transition out into the world. We also have had to learn many different things along the way. We've had to learn think not just math and science, we've had to learn communication skills, we've had to learn responsibility, leadership, and teamwork. With all that we've learned, I'm confident that every one of the graduates of 1996 will make and be able to achieve whatever their goals might be. I say this because, after all, every one of us has persevered. Every one of us has worked and worked for over 12 years to, to reach this goal of graduating, and I'm positive that every one of us will continue to persevere in the future. None of us here today ever gave up. For that, we deserve the deep sense of pride which we feel today and all the congratulations which we will receive. Thomas Fuller once said, that which is bitter to endure may be sweet to remember. If you apply this to your high school career, I'm sure you'll agree. Despite the bitterness of all the seemingly endless hours of classes and homework, the written and oral reports and the tests, I have no doubt that every one of us will remember the sweetness of the fun times they shared with classmates as students of Fairwell Senior High School. As time goes on, we'll probably forget 
the difficulties we faced as students. But we'll never forget the we'll never forget the fun and sometimes crazy times which are part of every student's memory. Thank you and I hope to see you all at the five year. Our next speaker this afternoon is Tim Meehan, valedictorian of the class of 1996. Tim will graduate with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. He's a, he has also been active in extracurricular activities including football, math league, orchestra, student council, stops, wrestling, golf, and science Olympiad. Through the community he's been active in boys state church youth groups. His distinguished honors include three sport athlete award for three consecutive years, the Richard Dewey Creativity Award, Big Nine Scholar, the Apollo Award, the AAA Award, and a National Merit Scholar. Tim plans to attend Iowa State University, also majoring in engineering. Mr. Tim Meehan. As fellow graduates of Faribault Senior High School, class of 1996, you've probably received many graduation cards or are about to start receiving them. What is the first thing you do when you open them? Do you flip to the middle for a quick glance at, if, at how much, if any, money you have received? Well, I must admit that I've been guilty of doing that a couple of times. While it was brought to my attention, and I'd like to bring it to yours, that there are actually words written on those cards. And when you read those words, they make a lot of sense. I would like to read a couple of cards that have exceptionally good messages. These cards express the, almost the exact thoughts that I wanted to bring out as I speak to you today. So here are two of them. The first one is, goes like this. You finished high school, but you know graduation is really just the beginning. Go forward with the pride that comes from achieving your goals. Enjoy the confidence that comes from knowing everyone has faith in you and your abilities. Use the, use the knowledge you've gained to make the most of all of the potential you possess. I hate to be the 1,000th person to tell you that you're ending a chapter of your life and are about to begin a new and even more challenging chapter, but I will anyway. It's true, and I think every one of you has the ability to make your upcoming chapters very fulfilling. Here's the second card that I really liked. If you put truth above your own desires and value those as friends who feel the same, if you take pride in things you've accomplished, and when you're wrong, stand up and take the blame. If you can understand your limitations and not waste time on tasks beyond your scope, but take the future as a brand new challenge that you can meet with confidence and hope. If you can listen to those who advise you and then judge yourself just what is right, if you can keep in touch with all about you and settle differences without a fight, if you can find delight in simple pleasures and see the rainbow, not the falling rain. If you can lose and never give up trying, believing that there's nothing done in vain. If you can stand by your convictions and not let others set your goals for you. If you can be as practical as needed and still remember, sometimes dreams come true. If you can live the life that you believe in and trust your judgment and maturity, then you'll be happy and successful and the worthwhile person you are meant to be. That's the message I'd like to leave you with. Don't focus so closely on the money in the card or the money that you will earn in the future that you lose sight of the message in the card and the truly important things in life. It will be the joy of life's simple pleasures and the satisfaction of sticking to what you believe that will bring you a true sense of fulfillment and accomplishment in your life. I would like to take a moment here to thank the many teachers who I and my classmates have been lucky enough to have and who have done just that. They have passed up the possibility of higher paying professions to devote their efforts into teaching us not just their subjects, but other lifelong lessons. And they have done an excellent job. Thank you very much. And graduates, pay special attention to those cards when you open them and heed their advice. 
good luck to you in all of your future endeavors, and God bless. clothespins to hold all the music down over there. Actually, a little rain in a ceremony usually means good luck, and so probably that's a special gift and blessing for this particular class. This afternoon, our third speaker and last speaker is Amanda Dell. Amanda will graduate with a grade point average of 3.923. In addition to her duties as class president, Amanda's activities include swimming, track, student council, stops, peer helper, and special, special Olympiad, science Olympiad. She served on several committees, including chairperson of Pride Week, Toys for Tots, Bloodmobile, and Prom Steering Graduation Committee. Amanda's prestigious honors include the Bosch and Malm Science Award, the Elk Student of the Month, Senior Class President, Big Nine Scholar Athlete, Girl Scout Silver Award, the Apollo Award, and Most Inspirational Award in Swimming. She plans on attending North Dakota State University, majoring in dietetics. I'm pleased to present Ms. Amanda Dell. waiting for, some of us even praying for. Well, we made it. Congratulations. Believe it or not, we made it together. From nap time in kindergarten to senioritis, we stuck through it together. For some, it was a competitive person sitting next to you in class who kept you going. And for others, it may have been just a friendly face who made it easier to come to school every day. The memories we've shared, good and bad, remain with us through the years. Remember the jolly old days of kindergarten? 
Well, the first day of kindergarten was when we all stepped on to a pretty scary ride, the roller coaster. This ride took us through the days of no homework, when our pastime basically consisted of playing, coloring, sleeping, and eating. It was then when we learned our ABCs, how to share, the importance of the buddy system, how to be kind to your neighbor, and all that jazz. Wow, we've certainly come a long way in 12 short years. The ride continued through elementary school and junior high. As the hills became steeper and faster, we made many profound friendships, some of which still exist today. We experienced the ups and downs of lunch hours, disagreements, which often turned into fights, locker mates, the roller skating rink, and of course, teachers and homework. The ride then began a long stretch, but certainly not its last, through high school. Here there were more friends, more homework, more teachers, more maturity, more parties, more of a lot of things. Our schooling career has seemed to resemble a roller coaster ride, filled with ups and downs. In these ups and downs, we have learned many important lessons of life and made many memories. For us, Fairbolt was a stepping stone to the future, our future. The roller coaster does not unload its passengers on graduation day. It continues to battle the steep and speedy hills of life. Mrs. Fitzgerald has said, what I have earned may be taken from me, but what I have learned is mine forever. The knowledge we have gained on the roller coaster ride from kindergarten to high school can never be taken from us. The lessons and memories are ours forever. This class is one of the most talented group of individuals I have ever had the privilege of meeting. We've got it all, from all-star athletes and students, to creative artists and musicians, to talented bakers and mechanics. Above all, each and every one of you has a drive and determination to follow your dreams. And believing in yourself is hopefully one of the many important things you've learned through the years. My parents once gave me a card that had a very powerful saying on it, and it was titled Believe, and I'd like to share it with you. Believe in yourself, in the power you have to control your own life day by day. Believe in the strength that you have deep inside, and your faith will help show you the way. Believe in tomorrow and what it will bring. Let a hopeful heart carry you through, for things will work out if you trust and believe. There's no limit to what you can do. Whatever the dream, you do have the power to make it come true. And on this second day of June, I would like to leave you with these few very important words. Do not follow where the path may lead, but go where there is no path and leave a trail. I wish all of you the very best of luck in traveling on your desired tracks on the roller coaster of life. And may you find joy and happiness in all that you do. The tradition of foreign exchange students visiting senior high schools or spending a year in the school or part of a year is an extremely rich and fine one. We have been extremely blessed this year to have five students still with us. Uh, they have shared their customs. They have learned about us and we about them. I want to thank the five people who are still with us this year and hope that you will remember Faribault Senior High School and carry us with you in your memories. Mrs. Mitchell will call their names while I make a presentation of an honorable Falcon Award. Meta Dalsgaard. Isla Stiegler.
Julia Toranova. Anya Grisellas. Tina Hostetler. Dr. Dixon and members of the Board of Education. It's just an honor for me to tell you that Amanda Dell was exactly correct about this class. Everything she said was true. They are indeed a great group. It is an honor for me to certify that every member here has met the requirements for graduation from senior high school. your names will you please come forward to receive your diploma okay. <laughs> Hilda Johnson Michael Velishek, Kerry Karen, Christopher Breitenfeld, Andrea Thompson, Josh Mowen, Teresa Brown. Ryan Fiedler, Kelly Schwartz, Michael Gieske, Michelle Becker, <coughs> Melissa Van Dam, Brandon Finnegan, Amy Nygaard, Carrie Sari. Andrew Dean, Kachina Rock, Joseph Weisler, Jody Moore, Jana Friedrich, Joel Schaefer, Timothy Culliard, Angela DeWolf, Kristen Gillick, Ryan Morris is not here, Jamie DeMars, Jimmy Thackey, Cindy Stika, Renee Fuller. Juan Munoz, Julie Fountain, Amanda Dell, Daniel Annaby, J. 
Georgette Lake. Roger Osk. Jill Hansen. Michael Kaywell. <laughs> Samian Tet. Timothy Meehan. Sarah Mall. Timothy Stadler. Nick Lacan. Lisa Berry. Joe Martinson. Sarah Beatty. Corey Karen. Angela Benson. Chad Peters. Marnie Hoisler. Zachary Hallberg. Corey Spiker. Stephen Johnson. Teresa Hyden. Joel Lenway. Catherine McCusker. Brian Kanopic. Joshua Haight. Jada Augustine. Ching Woon, Missy Beadle, Ross Stevens, Chevian Gruber, Scott Tywater, <laughs> Melanie Van Dam, Todd. Belmont, Kara Reck, Natalie Koss, Lawrence Hopkins, Missy Taji, Sean Warwick, Christina Kasparic. Spencer Borwidge, Krista Keno, Jesse Wright, Laura Blow, Joshua Cagle, Seth Porras, Christy Hammerschmidt. Brian Camref, Shelley Woods, Christopher Shavi, Elizabeth Cap, Eric Fuchs, 
Jill Keeley, Andy Conrad, Jennifer Wicks, Dan DeMars, Carrie Kylemeyer, Tammy Reichert, Joshua Hardy, Brian Karen, <laughs> Melissa Meyer, Jason Freeman, Lisa Breitenfeld. Jeremy Drager, Tammy Brooks, Denise Hummel, Joshua Kittleson, Tiffany Wagner, Jacob Kern, <laughs> Kelly Nelson, Jeff Morell, Katie Siegert. Ezra Kazee, Tammy Besky, Ross Spicer, Renee Zenzen, <laughs> Fad Soy. Donna Culp, Thomas Hoy, Jackie Krause, Shane Scouten, Jamie Walker, Jeremy Hatfield, <laughs> Carrie Schmidt, Nicole Carver, Jason Bauer. Nancy Smoley, Wayne Miller, Allison Russell, Corey Wright, Jamie Roloff, Dean Mortland. Megan Bailey, Joel Peterson, Tara Fisher, Chad Cowan, Jody Knudsen, <coughs> Sean Bolden, Kelly Hanlon, Alan Klug, Tara Edel, Kevin DeGazelle, 
Michelle Ross, Chris Momberg, Amy Mead, Brian Matura, Nicole Avit, John Miller, Kelly Bew, Paul Draywitz, Patricia Hopwood. Oh, it's uh, look. <laughs> that's what happens. That's what happens when you read without looking. <laughs> Aaron Kretzky. <laughs> where, where? <laughs> Somebody got lost. Eric Nielsen. <laughs> did did I miss a name? <laughs> we we missed somebody. Okay. We're at Faith. Okay, Faith, Rashna. I'm still here. <laughs> Nicholas Voigt. Alicia Dulac. Todd Morris. Amanda Miller. Martin Kolkish. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> Heather Ring. Brent Fuchs. Katie Bongers. Jeremiah Lennon, Christina Sherwood, Kurt Krensky, Danielle Schultz. Justin Dodd. Julie Bauer. Dennis Katavi. Kara Rangard. Tim Malloy, Robin McCullough, I was going to say Christina Fritz, David Dillon. Sheridan Veracek. Just Sheridan. Heather Smith. <laughs> Charles Johnson. Agnes Annette. Joel Hallett. <laughs> Peggy Wallen. Shoot. Daniel Weinberger. Way to go. Holly Hall. <laughs> Eric Carlson. Yeah. 
Leslie Holman. Scott Trump. Amanda Benson. Adam Munson. Christy Berge. Like Robert Frost, I've never been this old before, but I can't see because of the water in my glasses either. Uh, John Brody. Jenny Barnes, Paul Archambault, Julie DeMars, Benjamin Bauer, Tisha Varachek, <laughs> Steve, Stephen Bauer, Nellie Horst Newport, Benjamin Johnson, Brian Clyer, Mitch Onstead, Becky Hockfeld, Melanie Lamprecht, Jason Matthews. Katrina Madigan, Chris Reavers, August Borchert, Ethan Anderson, Elizabeth Dudley, Jacob Chevy, Laura Wassel, Chad Wolf, Melissa O'Connor, James Bauer, Megan Jindra. Jeremy Merrick, Geraldine James, Josh Kramer, Tammy Kotek, Paul Demro. And aren't we having fun? <laughs> Holly Peterson. Brandon Olson, Teresa Lenahan, Chris Likens, Angela Herkenrat. Sarah Covert. Steve Remily, <laughs> Stephanie Bodke, Paul Tetzloff, Jane Anderson, Daryl Matter, my door. Sorry, Daryl. <laughs> Courtney Venar. <laughs> James Anderson. <laughs> Deborah Sarter. Angela Peterson. Brad Wendell, no. 
Sheila Ennis. Todd Mason. Carrie Casper. Joel Berger. Paula Heyer. Mackenzie Kuntz. Jennifer Ernst. She just wants one. Chris Gillis. like to have Mr. Don Larson come up here if we can find him. He's probably under the bleachers trying to stay dry. Mr. Larson, if you would come up to the podium please and we'd like to ask Leslie Holman who was this year's class president to come up also. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, student council president. I know Amanda Dell was the class president, sorry. Where did he go? Here he comes. I was going to say that the good guys always wear white hats, but I see he took it off, so. You made me think that the class of 96 just did this graduation exercise without any practice, but this man has been helping classes with graduations for the last 15 years. And we know that he's going to retire now, and we figured that in 15 years he's finally gotten it right. We want to give you an honorary diploma and make you a member of the class of 96. So congratulations. <laughs> As I said at class day, this is not Don Larson's day, but in a sense it really is because ladies and gentlemen, 40 years ago, I crossed the stage at Huron, South Dakota to get my diploma. I finally graduated. <laughs> For that, I am grateful to the class of 1996. I'm grateful to the Board of Education, to Dr. Dixon, uh, to the school, and to the community. Fairbowl has been a lovely place for my wife and I to live. We intend to stay here, and I intend to see all of the good articles written in the, near, in the newspaper in the near next few years on this fine class of 1996. Thank you, class. I'm honored. <laughs>